Hey everyone, uh, say hi Lou. <laughs> um, so I figured I'd make a YouTube video since I haven't made one in a while. Um, I guess I could just, I really don't know what I'd talk about. Um, I guess I could describe everything that's going on. Oh, stretch, he just woke up. <laughs> He's taking a little nap. Um, yeah, so everything's been going really well, as you can tell. Um, I just moved to Oklahoma. Um, uh, that was kind of random. It wasn't really planned out. Um, yeah, so um, my computer's dying. <laughs> I was watching... Uh, Insidious 2 with LaRue, and that's why he just woke up, because we just finished our movie. He was sleeping with me. Um, but, yeah, I moved to Oklahoma. Um, I got this nice apartment. It's a uh, two-bedroom. Yeah, it's really nice. I mean, it's not too expensive or anything, so... I haven't really decorated or anything yet. I really don't have anything to decorate with. Um or really anything to put up or anything really yet <laughs> kinda just starting over you know um, so which is nice I mean starting over is always fun you get a fresh start a, a nice um, awakening or or something I really don't know what the, you know um, anyway I'm kind of out of it I, I just uh, I fell asleep during Insidious too, um, and I woke up around like the ending, and oh, <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I moved here. Um, I just started working with Cocky Boys. My first scene just came out. So that's really exciting, um, <laughs> like really exciting. Uh, I'm super excited to to be working with them, and um, yeah, everyone there is really great. I I love all the people there. All the all the models. Levi Carter is amazing. He's super fun, and um, Duncan Black's really cool, and he's a sweetheart. Um, Frankie's really cool. He's a uh, dark and it's so cool <laughs> not like the weird dark you know um and jake jackson and all of them over there all the cocky voice crew they're really really cool really fun to work with um i'm so grateful and so honored to be working with them i'm loving everything that's going on um <laughs> i can't wait for you guys to see everything um I really hope you guys enjoy it as much as I'm enjoying, um, but yeah, uh, get a little picture of LaRue, <laughs> he's 12 weeks, um, I just drove down to Dallas on Saturday and picked him up, yeah, quit, quit yawning, don't judge me, <laughs> oh, stretch, <laughs> um, I guess I could tell you how I picked LaRue's name, if you kind of haven't made the connection to some of my tweets. Um, uh, when I saw him, I kind of saw the half mask, and it reminded me of Phantom of the Opera. And um, the original author of the 1910 novel, um, the original Phantom of the Opera was named Gaston LaRue. And... So I named him LaRue, after the author, which I think is a very regal name, if I, if I do say so myself. Uh, he's still he's still got puppy in him. He's a lot he's a, a lot more playful than any other puppy I've ever, I've ever had. <laughs> Yawn in the face. Um, but 
Yeah, him and Bear are the best of buds. They, if you haven't seen the pictures, they cuddle all the time. Um, but yeah, anyway, <laughs> I had to rant about my child. I love him. I love him so much. And as for Kodiak, um, he's staying with a friend who actually lives right down the road, so I get to visit him. Um, this place just wasn't big enough for him, and I'm traveling a lot lately, and I'll be traveling a whole lot more in the future, and, well, coming up, and stuff like that, and a lot of stuff in the works, so, um, he just wasn't, you know, able, I didn't want him to have to live his life in a boarding facility, I, I wanted him to have someone, and have a place to stay that he would, he would get the attention and love that he needed. And I know it looks, I know some people can see it as low or like I'm, I'm playing puppy swap or something, but that, that has nothing to do with it. And if you, if you know me and if you've gotten to know me in the two years that I've been in porn, you would know that that's not me and that I would never do that. I, I cried and cried and cried like all day the day I had to get rid of Kodiak and um but yeah so trying to fight back um emotions right now but um yeah it's it's I'm definitely blessed that I found a friend in town that I can I can go visit and and <laughs> camera's throwing me off um and see Kodiak so um I'm definitely grateful for that, um, because it would kill me if I couldn't. But I, I had to put, I had to put my, I had to put him first. I had to put my son first, and um, I did what was best for him. And I know I did, whether anyone else feels it or not. I know I did what was best for my son, and only a parent can do that. Only a parent knows best, right? <laughs> so. Um, He's he's definitely in a better place um, than where he was now, or where he was, you know, now that we're living in this apartment. Um, he has three, or no, four, four daughter, or four children, they're all girls, and who just love him. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't think you can even process the amount of love that, that, popped off whenever we walked in that door. She it, she was like, one of the little girls looks at me and she goes, is this our new puppy? <laughs> and I was, I was like, yes, it is. And all of them ran up and they, they grabbed him and hugged him and they said, we're going to love you and take care of you and blah, blah, blah. And they looked at me and they said, don't worry, we'll take care of him. And when they said that, it kind of, it kind of you know, it uh, definitely touched me, and it definitely kind of sparked some tears. Um, but I, I'm I'm definitely grateful for where he is at, and the fact that I can visit. So um, I'm trying to be able to get both of us, so you can see Larue as well. There we go. Er. Gosh, computers are so difficult. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I've had a lot of new fans recently, or followers, or whatever you guys, yeah. Um, <laughs> whatever you guys are, Twitters, tweeters, birds, friends, family, all of the above. <laughs> No, you guys are like family. That's what you guys have become to me over the past two years. Um, I've gotten to know a lot of you, and you guys have gotten to know me, and um, there are new faces about, and old faces, and wise faces, and let's make a cat in a hat book right now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you guys have made this journey amazing. Um, I never thought that I'd be where I'm at. I mean, I know I'm not 
big and that was never my intention. My the, okay, so I'll I'll start actually talking talking. Um so from the get go, I kind of I kind of didn't really think anything of it. Like I applied for porn kind of as a joke. Like not not really as a joke, but it was it was more of something that I didn't think was me or like I could do or I could fit in or do something like that. Like it was kind of like one of those wild fantasies that were like oh, you can dream about it, but that's something that'll never happen. Or you can joke about it or, you know, make fun and smile and laugh with your friends. But all through high school, everyone told me that you, they were like, you would make a great stripper, a great porn star. And um, so when I turned 18, I was like, well, what the hell? I'll apply. And so I did. And, um whenever I got accepted, I got, like, four days later, I got a reply from Helix Studios, which is where I started, um, wonderful studio, I, I love everyone there, um, and I'm so grateful for, for the experiences I've had there, um, and, yeah, um, four days later, I got a reply from, a woman, and she, she doesn't work there anymore, but, um, she told, uh, told me that they were interested in working with me, and I kind of, whenever I, I got the response, I was like, no shit, like, <laughs> what? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I did not expect to get I I did not expect to get accepted into it. Um so whenever I did it was kinda like oh my my brain just like exploded. Um and I didn't know whether to jump up and down, I didn't know who to tell, I didn't know what to do. Um so yeah, I mean I, I, I called one of my friends and I was like you'll never believe what the fuck just happened. <laughs> and But I kind of made a choice. I like doing things that surprise myself. That, that I, I like going out of my, my comfort level. And, not, and when I say that, I don't, mean, I don't mean something that would make me uncomfortable. I mean something that I don't think I'd ever do. Or I don't think that... I could do, um, no chewing, um, no chewing, but, so I decided, well, why not, it sounds fun, it's a new place, new, um, experience, oh my god, I can't figure out this camera, <laughs> um, but, yeah, so I decided, that I would do it, and we're not covering up LaRue, I'm giving him more cushion so he can sit on top of it, um, hi baby, oh, he's such a love bug, but, um, hi, <laughs> um, but yeah, so I decided to do it, and I remember, um, you know, I'm very family oriented. I love my family. Um and that I it had not you know, it I've always loved my family, but it hadn't always been easy um to talk to them or to connect to them. Um we went through some really rough times, um, between us, not like like our house burned down or which <laughs> when I any, anyway. Um we went through some hard times together and and we weren't always the closest um even then when whenever I had told her we still weren't the closest um but I I, I sat her down and I was like look cause I didn't I didn't off oh, not this isn't what I said but um I didn't want to just disappear you know, I didn't want to go for a trip and then come back. Like, I couldn't, like, my mom would be like, well, where did you go? Because I was 
I was still in school. I was, you know, living at home still. I had my car there. I, you, I, my life was there in North Carolina where I was living at the time. And um, so I told her, I was like, look, I'm planning on going on a trip to, to, uh, actually, um, I sat her down and I was like, I, because she had been but pestering me about getting a job, I, it, the, the conversation flashed in my head, but I sat her down and I said, well, uh, here's a cigarette, you'll probably need one of these, and so we lit our cigarettes or whatever, and, um, I said, so I finally got a job, and she was like, oh, really? That's nice. And I was like, she was like, where is it? And I was like, well, that's the catch. And now I grew up Southern Baptist military brat. My dad's in the military, and both of them are super religious. So whenever I said that, I was like, here's the catch. Um, it's porn. It's I, I'm going to film porn. And she she looked at me and she was like, Are you fucking kidding me? And she kinda she kinda paused for a second and she got teary eyed and, you know, um did the whole mom thing, you know, that there's you have so many more talents, blah 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 and um my view on that is I feel America has made sex into something that it's not. Um, porn is a way for us to experience sex in the old way, the way that it, that it still is overseas, I feel. Um, it's artistic, it's beauty, it's something that's natural and everyone does no matter if it's in marriage or out of marriage, you're gonna do it in your lifetime. Um, it's normal and and normal isn't, you know, the normal, but it's something that, you know, we all do and it's, I feel it's an artistic inner self hurt, you know, I, I really can't think of a way to describe it, but I know it's something that I feel is natural and artistic and self-expressive and something you can just connect to someone on a different kind of level. Not, not just intimacy, because you can have intimacy outside of sex, but there's something else. There's, there's something beyond, you know. Um, and sorry, I'm still waking up. <laughs> so yeah. Um, and I, if if you haven't noticed, I'm kind of a. I mean, I I'm an outgoing person, but I'm like I'm I'm kind of shy. Um, I don't really I don't know. I mean, I'm 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 really talkative once you can get me outside of my box. But until then, I'm just kind of laughy or happy go lucky like. I mean, I have a, I'm a happy-go-lucky person even when you get me outside of my box, but until then, I really don't know what to say or, or, you know, I, um, because growing up, I wasn't always, like, the, the person that really, really had self-confidence. I didn't have any at all, um. Which which is something that I'm still even today working on. I mean, I have self confidence now, and I love myself, and um, and that that that's not in a wrong way. I don't mean that in like a like a bad way, like or in a cocky way, or you know, rude or snotty way, or uppity. You know, I I just love who I am and I know who I am now and I'm okay with myself um, which is not something I've always been able to say um, and um, one of my favorite quotes beautiful people don't just happen um, you know we have and what that means is kinda like a diamond it's not always sparkly it has to start out something else, something dirty and grimy and they they 
they clean it and they they form it and it makes this beautiful piece of jewelry or a stone or whatever you use it for but um yeah it, and, and strong and and bold and elegant and a woman's best friend <laughs> um which is pretty much what all gay no I just, I'm trailing off, which is something I tend to do a lot. Sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, I promise I'm not high. I actually haven't smoked in a in like a few weeks. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I've actually been pretty pretty good about not smoking, but um, not that I feel it's a bad thing. Um, Anyway, again, trailing off. Oh my goodness. I'm so bad at video. <laughs> um, anyway. Yeah, I, um, so she told me, she was like, okay, well, you can go do your porn thing, but you can't live here. Um, so I chose to continue to do the porn, and... I, I left North Carolina, I moved to San Francisco, and I lived with my biological father, or no, um, I moved in with a roommate, sorry, I got confused, because I've lived in San Francisco twice, I lived once with my biological father, and that didn't work out, um, <laughs> and then, um, then the other time, the, the time that I started doing porn, I lived with a roommate, and, well, actually three roommates, and um that was nice i mean it was um it was cool it was i just wasn't really feeling san francisco i guess but um yeah so from there i moved to my tribal land in oklahoma and um that's like 3 hours north of me north north east um and um yeah I, I lived there for like six or seven months and then um i'm really not sure how long i lived there um but from there i moved here to norman um not where i am currently but I, I moved to Norman and I lived here for a good four months um, and then I moved to Arizona I stayed there for mm, nine months no no ten ten no eleven I stayed there for almost a year I think yeah it was almost a year and um things happened the way they did and um led me to here and i'm not really sure if this is where i'm meant to be uh i am a small town per i mean not a small town but like a like a a slow lane i like the slow lane i don't like getting caught up in the fast track or going too fast that I can't see my surroundings. I like being able to take everything in and and enjoy the beauty. Um, I really find that life is something to be grateful for um, and something that is beyond comprehension. Um, you know, because you can sit there and think about what is life's purpose all day. You can think about it all day. But I, I promise you you will not come up with something there is not one 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 hundred percent answer you know there's not a specific answer for that um, or a clear answer um, it's just life and everyone everyone has their own meaning everyone has their own thing that you that you find or you know um, Sorry, there's a lot going on in my mind right now. Um, just talking about things is bringing up a lot of thoughts, and it's f confusing me. 
Um, anyway, clear it out. Um, but yeah, um, I guess I could talk about like some other stuff that people don't know. Um, my coming out story. Um, I never got to come out. My my parents went through my computer and found emails between me and one of my exes, who I'm actually still really good friends with, which is something I try to do. Um, whenever I date someone, I really like to, before I date them, I like to build a friendship. My mo you know, my, my parents taught me that a relationship is built off of something. A friendship is kind of like a foundation. Like, you know, you can, you, I, you can believe in love at first sight or you can love somebody but but I feel that you should really still not rush it like if you love that person if you if you truly love the person you should be able to build a friendship and something to work off of um, because how are you going to love somebody that you don't know um, or you know um, so I like to build a friendship with someone and even after the relationship ends, if it doesn't work out, um, I do like to stay friends because there was something there. There was something there at one point and even before that we were friends. So, um, and even even in the friendship, like before then, what if you know you 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 build this friendship and you find out that you really don't wanna you really don't wanna be anything past that? You know, there there's so many things that can ha happen that you you just don't need to rush into a relationship. Um, but anyway, um, I like to build a friendship with the person beforehand because I want I want my partner to be my best friend. I want him to be um, everything. I want uh, not just my partner, you know, that, uh, you know, I, I just don't, I don't see it that way. I see it as you need to be my friend before you can be my boyfriend. Um, but yeah, so um, I'm still friends with him today. Um, he's actually, um, someone I, I really care about. Not not in that way. I mean, I still love him um, to death beyond belief. Um, I don't think there's another guy in my life that I love as much. Um, just because he's always been there. He's always been my friend, no matter what. And he's never had some hidden intention or tried to get back with me and we didn't even end on bad terms so it you know it could it could lead to something else but we both see it as why 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 should we take it past that point oh oh yawn it out anyway um but we both love each other very much and it's not anything like that though it's like just friendship love or um, a deeper connection kind of love but I don't think we'll ever be together again nor do I really want to ever be together again um, not that you know that's I don't mean that in a bad way I don't want to say that in a bad way um, I think you guys will understand what I mean by it, but, um, although some of you may not, I don't know. <laughs> I can't assume. I don't want to make an ass out of you and me. Um, but, yeah, so I just, I just really, anyway, back to the coming out story. Sorry. I, I do that. I really am bad at that. I really am. Um, Hopefully I'll even post this because I'll probably be like, eh. anyway, no, I'll I'll post it you, and let you guys see the real me and um well you guys already do see the real me because I'm not one to fake I I like people to get to know me for me 
and whether you like it or not. I am a people pleaser. I do I do want people to be happy. Um, but when I say people pleaser, I don't mean as in I change anything or alter anything or conform to someone. Um, I'll always be me, but I, I do like people to be happy. I do like to bring smiles to people's faces. I do want people to laugh and be joyful. Um, it's just I don't want people to be angry or upset or hurt, um, which is something I try too often to um, prevent. And sometimes I I put I put myself too far into it, which um, I'm I'm getting better at. And it's it's kind of hard, you know, to to um, do that just because it's like. It's not like a bad thing, you know? It's not like I'm shooting people or, you know, putting people down. So it's not like, oh, well, you should really change that. <laughs> it's kind of like I'm I'm trying to help I'm trying to help people or or make sure they're not angry or upset or so it's kind of, you know, you you understand. Um, but it definitely is something that I I I'm working on still to this day. Um, sorry, I had an itch. <laughs> um, anyway, but yeah, so they went through my email and back to the coming out story. <laughs> and um, they went through my email and found um, pictures and, <laughs> and stuff sent between me and my ex. And. Um, Basically, my mom came to me and told me I was going to hell. Well, she first she asked me what they were, and she was like, "You're going to hell, blah blah blah." And um, yeah, that was that. But um, they've gotten so much that like I never would have thought we would be where we are today. Oh, uh, damn it! I want someone to count how many times I yawned in this video and, and post it. Uh, no, I'm just joking. I'm sure someone will now, but... Um, <laughs> um, but... Um, crap, I lost track. Lost my train of thought. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So we're going to start... We're going to hop on a new train. Uh, oh wait, no, I, I I hopped back on the train. Um, but yeah, that was that, and and now we're we're really close. I tell her everything, whether whether I know it's going to upset her or not. I I I really try to keep honesty as my number one priority. Um, I really don't like lies. I really don't like lying. Um, and of course I'm only human, I mean, every now and again, I'll, like, I'll, not accidentally, but like a, a, a white, like a, a, you know, like, um, I don't really know how to say it, but like a, an instinctive lie to my parents or something, like, oh, I don't want them to be disappointed, or oh, I don't want them to be hurt, or, you know, like, um, and I really don't talk to many other people and I don't I don't know but um yeah I really I really try not to lie um and yeah <laughs> um but me and my parents are really close now that's what I was trying to figure out what I was talking about sorry I'm just thinking about a lot of things this video is making me think Got my brain processing, um, which isn't bad. Like I, I love thinking and getting things out, and um, but I really haven't done anything like this, like I think ever. Um, <laughs> so it's kind of different. Um, but yeah, I'm not as good as talking on on camera, or well, I'm not as good as um, making YouTube videos. <laughs> As some people, um, like my best friend Philip Ashton, <laughs> and 
If you don't know him, go subscribe. He makes rock and blog or vlogs. Um, anyway. <laughs> but um Yeah. I I've I've got I've gotten really close to my family um again and it's it's wonderful. They they know what I do and I don't have to hide anything from them. There's not one thing that I have in my life that I'm like, oh, you guys don't know. Like, I mean everything from from smoking to drinking Kool-Aid <laughs> to um, which is alcohol. But, um, yeah, anyway, um, he's sleeping, so I'm not going to bother him, um, to anything, really, like, I, I, ha I don't have anything in my life that I hide from my parents, which, um, I'm actually very proud of myself for, because I used to hide everything from my parents, um, because I was so scared, I, um, I, I was very fearful of disappointment and um, rejection from my parents, um, which was something that was very possible, very common um, in r religious parents. So I just assumed, and which which you know it, it did turn out that way, but <laughs> um, it's gotten better, and they've gotten better, and I've gotten better, and. Um, I wouldn't be where I am today if I I didn't go through everything, you know. Um, my path is set, and I I'm following it, and doesn't mean that I I'm not in control of it because I am. My path isn't something that I can't change or make myself, you know. Like I'm laying the pavement as I go. I I'm laying that hot asphalt on the ground, and I'm smoothing it out as we go and fucking making the lines on the road like this is my this is my life <laughs> but um yeah <laughs> um quote that shit <laughs> um but I don't know really what else to talk about um this is a long video I've almost been sitting here talking for an hour it's we're on 3742, um, <laughs> but, yeah, um, hmm, I kind of want to do, do these more often, get, get better at them, you know, and, um, share more and talk more and, um, maybe make fun games or special appearances or whatever on this, but, um, like, Whatever you guys want to know, um, or if there's a special kind of video you want to want me to dedicate to, like a specifically talk about a specific kind of topic, um, I, I'm definitely up for that. I, game on, because um, you know I, I'm I am all about you guys. Um, you know I wouldn't I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys, so you guys are something I'm very grateful for, so whatever you guys want me to talk about, don't be afraid to bring it up or ask, um, now there are some touchy subjects that I won't talk about just because I don't want drama, that's something that I don't do, um, I'm not a drama person, I, I, I will not I won't tolerate it, I won't participate in it, I won't I won't condone it. Um it's a waste of my time, it's a waste of everyone else's time. Um no matter how much adrenaline rush it causes for everyone, no matter how curious you are about it, um if it if you feel it's going to create drama or you feel someone can get angry about it, we're not talking about it. <laughs> um just just to be clear <laughs> cuz i'm not about that life for real <laughs> on a real note <laughs>
Um, no, but um, yeah. So anyway, um, I guess I can talk about Christmas. Um, my Christmas was good. Um, I didn't really get a lot of gifts or anything, which is something I've never been. Um, in love with Christmas for Christmas is my favorite holiday of all time. Um, just because of the spirit and the the attitude that everybody has, and I know I know there's like a lot of selfishness that happens on Christmas as well, but I've never been about the gifts. I've always been about the spending it with my family or whoever I'm with, you know. Um, dang, I'm crooked as fuck. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but yeah, I've always been about spending it with my family, which I didn't get to do this year. So it was definitely hard. Um, it was... It was... Um, lonely. I didn't have anyone. I, I just, literally, it was just another day. Um, <laughs> um, but I wasn't lonely. Like, it was, it was alone, but I wasn't lonely. Like, I, I was okay. Um, I was sad, but, um, I was okay. I was, I had a lot, I have a lot to be grateful for. So, my mood was definitely still up. Um, I, like, literally, I have a lot to be grateful for, so, um, yeah, um, but for Christmas I got, I didn't, I didn't have anything to open on Christmas Day, but I got, my parents got me a kitchen set, like, dishes and, um, uh, a microwave. <laughs> LaRue looked at me like, what was that? You yawn too. You just don't make noises. Um. There we go. But, um. <laughs> that's my food. <laughs> Which I haven't touched at all since I've done the video. Um. But. Um. Yeah, so I got, like, dishes and stuff, and, and then a few of you guys bought me things that I consider Christmas gifts because they came around Christmas, so, <laughs> um, I got these sweats, um, that I absolutely love, um, they're du Jus and they, they're, um, they're sag, they're like a saggy style, so I'm, they don't sag off your butt, but they sag, like, in the, like, they're, they're, made in such a way that they they have like a really low hanging crotch and then um the sweats don't like the the legs don't go all the way down to your feet like they have like um stretchy or whatever what or um I don't know what it's called but like the stuff to make it like tight around your your leg or whatever like um anyway yeah but, um, so it, it, like, sits, like, right on your shin. Um, but, yeah, those are my favorite, uh, sweats that I have. And, um, I also got a fox hat that I actually <laughs> wear a lot. Um, I'm not wearing it right now, but I wear it a lot around the house, um, because it keeps my head warm. Um, but that, that also will be like a party thing um because a lot of people um I just got a picture of Kodiak <laughs> um he's doing really well <laughs> um Sorry, one second. Um. Is 
anyway, um, but yeah, I, um, you can wear, like, a lot of people wear, like, the, the, the spirit hoods to, like, raves or festivals or... Why am I yawning so much? Um, but, so, I'm going to, um, wear that to my next festival. Um, and I'll take a picture whenever I do. Um, and then, what else did I get? Oh, I don't know who got it for me, but I got the, a jacket, um, from, it's a Dublisju jacket as well. Um, that I absolutely love too. Um, um, yeah. Uh, um, but, um, yeah, I got, that's pretty much everything I got, I think. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. <laughs> He's like, I can't turn around. I want to give you kisses. I want to give you kisses. Oh. You're such a sweetheart. He's so sweet. Uh, whenever I brush my teeth, he has to be laying on my feet. If I close the door, he whines. Um, if I take a shower and he's not in the same room, or even if the curtains close, like, if he cannot get in the tub, he's whining, which with Italian greyhounds, you don't really want to wash them a lot just because their skin will dry out, but, um, so he, he whines a lot while I take a shower, um, but when I come out, I feel so special, <laughs> just... Just because he gives me kisses like I've been gone for weeks. Um, but he is so tired. <laughs> um, but yeah, Christmas was good still. I still, um, yeah. And then this little guy, this is my little, my little Christmas joy, even though it wasn't on Christmas. He is, uh, <laughs> He's so cute. Um, I know you're so tired. Wrong. Oh. Um, anyway. But, um, yeah. Um, New Year's is coming up. I'm excited for the New Year's. A lot of things are gonna happen and a lot of fun times. Um, um, not much else. Um, so I know this has been long. Um, I know this has been probably fun and, and you probably liked it, but probably really jumpy and, and a lot of parts where I trail off. I probably didn't finish a couple stories. Um, <laughs> But, um, yeah, this is kind of just like an introduction kind of vlog, like, um, you know, like, what, whatever you guys really want to ask me or anything, just, just email me, um, I'll post it in my little thing, and you can email me, like, a topic or something, and, or no, actually, um, just post it in a comment. That way it's easier. Or I can do the email thing too, just in case some of you don't have like a an account or something. Um, but because um, I just because I, I I had said I'll post the email and then I thought, well, I don't remember the email password and then I was like, oh wait, I remember that today because I wouldn't be on here doing it if I didn't. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, so I'll post the email, email me whatever you like, um, whatever you want to know, whatever, um, topics you want to hear about or whatever, um, again, drama-free zone, um, 
I will filter. Um, I pull the ignore the bully kind of thing. If you ignore it, it goes away. Um, but um, so if your topic doesn't get answered, because I will answer every every topic. I will t I will cover. Um, but if it does not get answered, then please don't please don't take offense. It just is something that I probably can't talk about or I don't want to talk about because I don't want someone else getting angry um, or hurt or upset because um, I'm really about respect right now um, and I know I know sometimes um, things happen and and you know um, Sometimes that you know I say things and um, it does piss people off and um, it does upset them or it does hurt their feelings and um, you know I I don't want that so uh, I try I'm going to you know I I want to be I want to keep my street clean I want it to be a street that everyone wants to walk down <laughs> so. <laughs> I kind of like that, I think. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, um, anyway, um, again, just leave a topic, whatever, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Um, I love you guys so much. Um, I hope all of you had a wonderful Christmas, and I hope all of you have a wonderful new year. Um, make some realistic goals and some up in the cloud goals uh... reach reach for the stars that's why i have this tattoo on my wrist um, so i reach for the stars um, anyway um, i love you guys so very much um, i'll wake him up one last time to say bye uh, say bye larue say bye say bye say bye bye He's like, uh, I don't want to say bye. Say bye-bye. <laughs> bye, guys.